Hey, what's up? It's Chris Lane. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Everything is great. How are you? Good. It's so good to have you on Complete Country. It's Shannon. Let's talk about your new album. Are you a superstitious guy? Because you're releasing an album on Friday the 13th. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I didn't realize that until somebody told me that uh, several weeks ago, and I, I didn't think about that before. But, uh, yeah, what an interesting day to release a record on. You know what? Hopefully it will... Uh, Nothing crazy will happen. No, I think maybe it'll just climb to the top of the charts. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'd be down with that. There's no doubt about that. So now, if I'm not mistaken, did you just hear some pretty cool news about Take Back Home Girl in Canada? Yeah, <laughs> I did. I just found out that uh, it is certified platinum in Canada, and I am blown away by that. I'm feeling the Canadian love. <laughs> that. I really appreciate it. Congratulations. That's awesome. I mean, it's a great track and it's got to be cool to have somebody like Tori Kelly on that song. Yeah, you know what? Um, when I first heard this song, it was just a little acoustic uh, work tape and um, I knew there was something special about it. I just, I love the lyrics. I loved where it took me to, all that kind of stuff. And uh, at the end of the day, we, we sat down, we decided after I recorded it that we wanted to have a female uh vocal on it as well and, and add that presence on there and they asked me who would be a dream collaboration I said Tori Kelly not realizing that it would uh, I guess end up happening but she uh, she loved the song decided she wanted to be a part of it so what we did we went back in and rewrote that second verse to make it a little more suitable for a female to sing and uh, she took what was already a good song and made it even better and I have, it's been the biggest star in my career this far and I'm very very excited about that that's awesome. Now, I'm just guessing there's a lot of inspiration on this new album, Laps Around the Sun, possibly from Kenny Chesney. Where did that stem from? Yeah, well, last year um, I was playing a show middle of the year before I started my uh, before I started my record. Um, I've spent the last two years out on the road trying to figure out exactly what kind of artist I wanted to be. The first time around when I recorded my first record, I was still figuring it out, trying to figure out what kind of songs I wanted to write. And I had a moment last year when I opened up for Kenny Chesney and I got to watch from a different perspective as an artist this time opposed to, uh, you know, I grew up going to Charlotte, North Carolina to watch all of his concerts. Right. And, uh, I watched how he connected with people that night and how he made people feel, how he made me feel, and just the atmosphere and everything about the show and, and his songs and, and what they do. And I ultimately realized that night I want songs that do the same exact thing, that make people feel the same way, that take you to somewhere. That was my ultimate goal when I was writing for this record. It made it a little easier this time around going in when you can sit there and say, hey, this is the kind of song I want to write, and uh, you know what kind of artist you want to be. Um, you're not necessarily guessing anymore. So uh, that part was great to discover, and uh, he was a major, major influence for this record. There's no doubt about it. And it's got to be cool, too. I mean, it's your second full album to be able to find that part of yourself so early on. I mean, some people don't find that until five or six. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it takes uh, several years, uh, even two or three albums, to kind of iron that out. But, um, yeah, moving forward, you know, it, it, it's one of those things I definitely feel like I figured it out. And uh, it, it's never easy writing songs, but um, it makes it easier when you know exactly uh, the kind of songs you want. You can at least aim for it right. um, a little bit better and, and put that uh, train in the right direction. <laughs> so now, out of the ones you've released already, I mean, they're all awesome, but is there one that is on that album that you cannot wait for fans to hear once it's released? Uh, yeah, there, there's several. Um, I, I'm just loving the fact that people are digging the ones that I've already released off the record, but uh, songs that people haven't heard yet. There is a, uh, a funny kind of breakup song that I think people are going to like a lot. It's called New Phone, Who's This? And I know that's a saying that's used a lot. Um <laughs> especially on social media. So um, an interesting song title that uh, turned into a, a pretty cool song. So I can't wait people wait for people to hear that one. Yeah, it's awesome. It's got a really cool, witty vibe to it. Now, um, I'm super excited for everybody to hear the album because it's awesome. And I've, I'm not mistaken, too, you're going to be performing on NBC's Today Show next Tuesday with Tori Kelly? Yes. Awesome. Can't wait for that. Um, this will be our second performance together. And yeah, it's always a little nerve-wracking doing those uh, kind of shows, but uh, certainly 
certainly a big opportunity and, and very thankful for that. So can't wait to do it. Awesome. Well, Laps Around the Sun is awesome. Thank you so much for chatting with us on Complete Country today, Chris. You got it. Thanks for having me. All right. Have a good one. You too. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye.